Well, uh, unsupported CPU, but with Secure Boot enabled and TPM 2.0, PC can run Valorant on Windows 11. This laptop, which is the Lenovo Legion R720, had the i7 7700HQ, which is not supported by Windows 11, but however, it had TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot enabled. Will it run Valorant? Let's find out in this video. This is the BIOS settings on the laptop. As you can see, Intel Platform Trust technology, which is the TPM 2.0, is already enabled, and Secure Boot is also already enabled in the BIOS setting. This will be the test setup to test whether Valorant can run on unsupported CPU, but with Secure Boot enabled and TPM 2.0 on Windows 11. I connected an external keyboard and mouse as the laptop built-in trackpad and keyboard doesn't work correctly. And this is my only laptop with 7 gen processor by Intel and a decent graphics processor which is the GTX 1050 Ti. I connected a gaming monitor so that I can easily play Valorant on the monitor and record using OBS. Before I can test Valorant, I'll be checking the gaming laptop CPU which is obviously unsupported. Go to search about your PC, click that. As you can see, it is an Intel Core i7-7700HQ which is obviously unsupported by Windows 11. So that next is to check the TPM 2.0 support. Go to Security Processor. As you can see, TPM 2.0 is enabled under the Security Processor detail. Finally, let's check whether Secure Boot is enabled. Press Windows R for the right menu. This thingy, enter MS Info32. I already entered previously and it saved it. Click OK. It shows secure boot state is on. That means Windows detect the secure boot state is on. Has reflected here in the BIOS as well in the previous segment. Close it. Now check whether Vanguard got any error when I click the Vanguard icon. Click. There's no error coming out. That means TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot is enabled and Vanguard doesn't care whether the CPU is supported or not. Now go to Valorant, open the game. I already signed in using my test credentials that I created for the sole purpose of testing. This will take a while to load so be very patient. I'll be playing some death matches as there's no leaving penalties short of loss of XP, which I don't really care. As I'm just testing whether Valorant will run on unsupported CPU, but TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot enabled on Windows 11. Click play, death match, click start to start the death match to test whether it will work. If it doesn't work, you just kick me out with an error by the the anti cheat. Match found. Let's go and play some Velo to test. Okay. Let it load the map and the game. This will take some time to load and test. Let's test the stability Death of match. the gameplay as well. Warm now warm up. Let's see whether the FPS is good. Looks like the FPS is stable. Let's move around and find anyone to shoot at. Lol, I died. Lol, Mon Kagiga. Hmm, let me play around a bit. Let's find some enemy to kill. Yes, kill one enemy. It is quite stable. Let me leave the match. Let me conclude this. As long as TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot is enabled, it doesn't matter whether your CPU is support or not on Windows 11. So, I hope you find the video useful and informative. Please like share and comment on my video and please do subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon.